Imagine being forced to do backbreaking work every day, all day long, and never get paid. Imagine what it would be like to be taken from your family and never see them again. Imagine never having new clothes to wear, enough food to eat, or a real bed to sleep in. It's hard to imagine, but that's the way enslaved people in America lived for over 200 years. However, many Americans opposed slavery and fought to abolish it. This is the story of the abolitionist movement and those who opposed slavery in America. When did slavery in America begin? Why did it begin? To answer those questions, we have to travel to Colonial Virginia and the year 1671. To meet the growing demand for workers, the colony of Virginia instituted slavery. Slavery is a social economic system which allows one person to own another person as property. For almost the next 200 years, hundreds of thousands of Africans were taken from their homes in Africa. After being captured, they were chained, put on ships, and brought to America. The forced transportation of African people from Africa to the New World is known as the Middle Passage. The Middle Passage was a terrifying experience. The trip took weeks or months, with hundreds of people crammed below deck. The ceilings were so low that a person could not even sit up straight. Many Africans had their hands and ankles chained so they couldn't move freely. Many didn't survive the voyage. America was made up of 13 British colonies. In America, the captured African people were forced to become enslaved. An enslaved person is someone who is owned by and works without pay for another person. Enslaved people were bought and sold like property. Many enslaved people were sold at auctions. At the auction, enslaved people would be forced to stand on a raised platform so they could be seen by the buyers. The buyer who bid the most money would then own the enslaved person. It was at the auctions where African families were split apart. Husbands, wives, and children went to different owners. Many never saw each other again. Men, women, and children were forced to work endless hours under horrible conditions and never get paid. Some enslaved people worked doing housework, but most were forced to do backbreaking work in tobacco and cotton fields. Their living conditions were terrible too. Most lived in one room cabins. Up to 10 people could live in one single hut. There was little furniture, and many people slept on beds made of straw or rags. Enslaved people were given a weekly food allowance of perhaps some cornmeal, dried fish, and a little pork, but there was never enough to eat. Enslaved people lived and worked under terribly difficult and horrid conditions, and they had no personal freedoms at all. By 1775, America consisted of 13 British colonies along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. In 1776, the 13 American colonies started a war for independence against Great Britain. Soon afterwards, colonies in the North began to end slavery. In the Southern states, things were different. By 1850, there were about four million enslaved people living in the southern states. Cotton was an important crop in the south. It took lots of workers to grow and harvest cotton. 
enslaved people provided the manpower to get the work done. Slavery was important to the plantation owners and the southern economy. Most southerners didn't want slavery to end, 